Today I'm going to go through the process of creating an iOS T wallet that you hold your own keys and you can stake it uh, because that's very important. The first thing you're going to do is go to citadel.one and click sign up. You can put whatever email address you want in. Go ahead and create a password. Add sign up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do you can import one, you can link your hardware wallet if you'd like, uh, but because we're doing iOS T, there's really not a um, a hardware wallet app to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the Citadel one seed wallet. So we will click on that. Then we'll hit next. Okay. So of course you want another layer of protection. So I created a, a password from my last pass and I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to hit next. And these are my words that I'm going to need to uh, write down. So, so I'm going to pause this while I write them down. So once you have your phrase written down, you're going to go ahead and verify that. So we'll click on each word in the order. And as you can tell, I'm never going to use this wallet again because you are viewing my mnemonic phrase. next and this is where you're going to want to choose your iOS T wallet hit create I'll go through the process this iOS T wallet you will not be able to choose your own uh, wallet name some of them you are able to but iOS T, let me tell you, is really hard to find a wallet that you can actually create a wallet, store your iOS T, have your own private keys, and stake. So here is your new wallet, and you can then send some iOS T over to it. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you how to stake from there. Okay, now that I have a balance in my iOS T wallet, let's go ahead and stake. Right here you can see this is when you can send and we're going to go ahead and stake. So let's click stake. We're going to add a node. And this is a list of basically all the nodes that you can stake against. Um, but we're just going to go right to the Citadel. Click on that. We're going to do 100%, which is 100. And we're going to hit stake. If you wanted to find a particular node, you could look down here. But I have my 100% for 100 IOST, and we're going to hit stake. This is where you're going to enter your wallet password that you created earlier. Put the password in. Hit confirm. You know we have the right password when you see the little mouse come over or the um, highlight. Click confirm. RAM availability, gas availability. Don't have enough RAM. Well, let's see what we can do. buy additional RAM to validate the transaction. Okay, well, I thought I had enough time that it went through. Um, I could buy some RAM. Why not? Let's go ahead and confirm that.
and we now have enough RAM. So what we're going to do, uh, oh, this is our staked amount. We're going to add a node going back through this process. We're going to do it to Citadel. We're going to have 100%. We're going to stake it. It's going to ask for a password. We're going to paste in. We're going to confirm. Gas availability. RAM should be enough. And because this is a new wallet, it looks like you are going to have to purchase RAM um, to get enough to stake. So there we go. It is successful. Hit OK. And we can come back and we will claim some more IOST when enough time has gone by. Thanks a lot. We are back at the Citadel wallet and I needed to wait about a week to um, show you how to claim your rewards. I did talk to someone at Citadel and they said um, they talked to someone else at Citadel and they talked to someone else at Citadel and it comes down to rewards are issued about every week. They couldn't tell me if it was every seven days that we did it or if it was their week that might end on a Saturday. Each group that you would stake your IOST with has their own rules. I know that Hobie, they give their rewards every day. Um, Citadel, it's every week. And so you may have to wait depending on who you're going to uh, stake with that uh, when the rewards are. So as you can see, this all started back in August. Uh, and then I went ahead and staked after buying a little bit of RAM so that things could move around. And so we have our first reward. So we'll come log into the Citadel wallet. We'll see that you have a pending reward and you will click claim. And this is where you need to put the wallet password. I got my password. I put it into the field. I hit claim. And there we have uh, success. So the pending reward will now be put into the available balance. So we have stake balance of 97.83. Well, it's going to grab everything. Of 97.83 and the available balance of 0 0.10411. So what we're going to want to do is earn interest on interest. And so we're going to go ahead and click on stake. Okay, after playing with this for a while, I found that I really can't stake um, 0 0.10411 IOST. That was what I re received on my 97 IOST. I know we all probably have a lot more than just about 100. So I had to send some to this wallet so that I could actually show you how to stake it. Um, what you need to do now, my available balance um, has jumped from 0.10411. I added a bunch so that I could show you how to, uh, to stake. Right now, you can see the maximum that we can stake is 98.83%. So I'm going to go ahead and click 98.83%. When you get larger rewards, you'll be able to restake easily. Um, you see that the grand total is going to be 253.5336331. When you see that and you've clicked that little button max, it'll take everything available what you already have staked, what is available to be staked, you'll hit stake and it'll ask for your password. Now that I've put my password in, I can go ahead and click confirm. You'll see that there's enough gas, there's enough RAM. 
It'll be interesting to see how much RAM it cost me. It cost oh, quite a bit, about 243 RAM. And click OK. And there we go. There's three IOST available. That's why I could not stake the, uh, the point one zero four one one. It needs to have some left in there. And the staked balance is now 253. So it's that easy. You can come back in seven days or so and you'll have another um, amount that you will be able to claim and you just keep claiming and restaking and there you go thanks a lot guys unstaking is a really simple process too we're just going to go ahead and click the stake it's going to take us to the next screen we're going to go and click on the red x that's going to remove the stake but first you have to get your password so that you uh, basically are authenticated um, against this wallet so once I get my password we'll go ahead and add that confirm to start this process it's going to go ahead and use some RAM to, uh, to validate the operation And here we go. Okay, now it's successful. Click OK. You'll see that now you have a frozen balance and that will unfreeze, I believe, in 48 hours, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, you can go ahead and clear out that particular uh, node that you have, or you can restake, but if you hit the uh, Let's see, yeah, going down here, we'll see how many days it takes, but right now it's on the 14th of September, and I believe it's only 48 hours uh, before that is unfrozen, and then you can send that stake anywhere. I couldn't find the time in the documentation, but what I'm gonna do is I will put it down in the notes below this video on how many days it does take. Um, but I think that's it for now. Citadel looks like it's a great solution for um, your IOST. You can stake it against just about any node that you want. Um, you can kind of compare nodes. You could do 50% on one, 50% on another, and see which one gives you a better return. And um, I think we are, we're good to go. Thanks a lot, guys.